Shalom, brothers and sisters. So let me start this one with just reading for you from Romans 8, from verse 18. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. <clears throat> we know that the whole creation has been groaning, as in the pains of childbirth, right up to this present time. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. We say regularly on this channel, look, look, creation's groaning. It's groaning like a pregnant woman ready to give birth. It's groaning and it's just preparing and tensing the whole time for the revelation of this rapture and the revealing of the sons and daughters of God and the whole thing to come to fruition to happen. And we're there now. So on that, five dead 28 missing as monsoon rains ravage Nepal. Heavy monsoon rains triggering landslides and causing floods and rivers to overflow have been affecting Nepal's eastern Koshi province since the 17th. The resulting devastation has led to five deaths across the province with 28 people still missing and considerable infrastructure damage. Extreme rainfall hit southern Brazil, leaving at least 11 people dead and 20 missing. An intense extratropical cyclone has struck southern Brazil, particularly Rio Grande do Sul, on June the 15th and 16th, bringing extremely heavy rains and strong winds, resulting in 11 fatalities and 20 missing people. Last 24 hours in earthquakes, <clears throat> 3 above 5.0. 37 above 4 and 5, 113 above 3 and 4, 223 above 2 and 3, and 544 below 2. And then you've got to remember there's plenty they don't mention, and there's many times that they downgrade the big ones because they're trying not to stress people out because they have no control or answers. Unexplained deaths in India's heat wave raise questions amid soaring temperatures. In the severe heat wave that has hit the states of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar in India, at least 96 people have died from heat aggravated conditions. Intriguingly, over half of these deaths occurred in a single district, Balia, which has now prompted an investigation. Rare snowfall, cold wave in Bolivia's Santa Cruz deals a blow to agriculture and kills cattle. This drives famine again. An unexpected wave of snow, ice and heavy rain hit Santa Cruz, Bolivia's largest agriculture region last week, causing widespread damage to crops and leading to the death of cattle. The cold front extended beyond Santa Cruz with record-breaking temperatures of minus 9 degrees Celsius, 15.8 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded in the north of the country. Notably, temperatures also took a steep dive in the southern wine-producing department of Tarija, a critical area for the wine-growing industry. Famine again in luxury goods. Monsoon arrives in Assam. Severe flooding affects 34,000. Rivers above warning levels in India. Floods triggered by the monsoon, which hit us some on June the 10th already, have so far, up to now, impacted 34,189 people, particularly in the Lakhimpur district in the wake of breached embankments 
and significant rainfall. Hectares of crops have been affected, prompting relief measures. Famine. Beijing breaks mid-June heat record as temperatures reach 39.4 degrees Celsius, 103 degrees Fahrenheit in China. Beijing experienced a record-breaking mid-June temperature on June the 16th as reported by China's Meteorological Authority, which has issued warnings for the public's public to stay indoors and avoid heat stroke. Caterpillar invasion plagues. I've never seen anything like this. Invasion underway on Skagit County Island. A seven-year cycle of the insects is peaking right now. Seven-year cycles. Interesting how it perfectly works with the Shemitah cycles because it's peaking right now. Leaving residents scrambling to clear the crawlers. Skagit County, Washington, Gims Island in Skagit County is popular for its beaches, incredible scenery and solitude. But an unwelcome visitor has moved in and they're arriving by the millions. An explosion of caterpillars has islanders like Randy Reinhardt shoveling insects off his property with a shovel. They go up your neck, in your pants, everywhere, Reinhardt said, still feeling squeamish. My hair was freaking me out, so I had to get a haircut. Reinhardt's orchid and the surrounding elder trees are picked clean by the caterpillars, famine. At a time when leaves are supposed to be flourishing, the branches look like late fall, and the bugs on the ground like rain. I've never seen anything like this in Washington, said Glenn Kohler, DNR forest entomologist, and I have been with DNR for 15 years. And then on top of that, there's a Mormon cricket invasion in Nevada and Idaho. So we're having plagues, insect invasions, crickets, and you name it everywhere, worms, heat waves, ice, floods, chaos, earthquakes, volcanoes going off, everything. The earth is groaning, and no one can tell me. These are not in-your-face, blatant, screaming signs. Nature itself trying to shake the sleepers awake. Behold, the Lord is at the door. Keep looking up. Our redemption draws nigh. God bless. Have a great day. Shalom.